in another tech company. Okay, relatively new. Sprout in 2017. Almost like these were the same people. Hmm. What an enormous coincidence. Okay. Um, let me start marking this up and see how it looks. Make sure to stay hydrated, guys. Again, if you're new here, my name is Ethan. Make sure to check out my website. From there, you can find links to all my various socials, whether it be Twitch, Fa YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit. We have it all, so make sure you're following to stay in the loop. Stay up to date with all the latest information that's being made available. Thank you guys so much for spending your time here. It's always appreciated. Uh, right now, we're looking at APPN. Um, so let's get started here. Let's kick things off. The uh, One of the main components on why I'm investing in these companies right now is because um, small cap tech is undervalued right now relative compared to relative strength, momentum. You look at um, like Google and uh Microsoft, they're just so overbought right now. I like to look at the you know ETF IWM, and it's extremely low relative strength on the weekly chart. So any pop up in IWM will make stocks like these go significantly higher. And you factor in a double support and a downward wedge. If it breaks that, it should be you know a thirty percent, forty percent kind of a uh, return thank you so much for sharing with chat um that sounded fabulous um nothing I, I, I really don't have anything to critique with what you just said um i also agree that a lot of the blue chip uh tickers are really overvalued right now when you look at their uh RSIs and MACDs relative to a lot of their peers in the space. So relative to like this exam, th this tech company that we're looking at right here may or may not be an example of an undervalued tech company. But just insert name here. Um, yeah, is what else should I know about this company as I con continue to mark it up here? Pulling up the stats on it. So it's nowhere near as good as Roku, just fundamental wise, but the uh, revenues are growing consistently 22.3% for the past five years. Let me check out their trends. They are not a profitable company yet. You're doing great, by the way. Keep it up. And in 2020 was their first positive EPS for a annual uh, report. So they were negative... Uh, EPS and income before tax in 2016, 2017, 2018, but they've been uh, growing steadily. And in 2019, they basically broke flat. And in 2020, their EPS was positive for the first time. So if you can imagine a chart, their revenue is going up from bottom left corner to top right corner. And their uh, their earnings is doing the same thing as well. I'd have to go further into their statements to see if, uh, you know, what's causing their expenses to still be relatively high. But the one good thing, though, is if I look at the last four years, their expenses has stayed the same for the past three years, but their revenue has gone up more than their expenses 
So you're looking at a profitable profitable company, I would say probably less than five years. That was great. That was great. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, yeah. So, so far I've just got the basic supports and resistances in place. Haven't really noted a trend yet or measured a lot of these ranges, but we will, we'll get to that. You were doing great with the fundamentals. I'm curious what happened here in Q2 of 2021. Maybe someone it could tell me what news happened here. Q2 2021. That Corona, I guess so. As you were stating with the financials, uh, here we have APPN again. Uh, in 2017, they had a profit margin of negative 17.54. In 2018, they had a profit margin of negative 21.81. 2019, they had a profit margin of negative 19.48. These are relatively like terms, right? Each of these are pretty similar. And then here we have the year 2020 that are reporting a profit margin of 10.99 percent improved improved uh to say the least um i would like to see where they go in the future those are not the greatest financials but Oof. uh look here at the analyst uh, expectations and earnings as we were talking about earlier um, I don't really like to look at a broker provided analyst estimate for like earnings I, because it ruins the headline we already went over all this but look at how s soft they were for this earnings they went from okay we expect about this much they're hitting here we expect about this much we expect about this much What's going through an analyst's mind? Like, okay, we want this company to win. We want them to hit earnings. We, let's go super soft on them so it'll be impossible for them to miss. They went super soft and yet still somehow managed to miss the last earnings. There, and there's a like massive drop here, I, which I'm, I, I, I don't know what caused it. It doesn't have a dividend yield. We do, we do like yields as long-term investors. Again, the U.S. national average is somewhere between 3 and 4%. Um, but that's okay. Um, current valuation is $6 billion. Average volume, 363K. Again, APN Corp. Our friend... Bull Options Trader was kind enough to recommend it. He's in Discord with us right now. Um, he's doing a great job of uh, providing us uh, information. Uh, to explain that dip, um, any highly valued um, small cap tech will eventually become overpriced. And that's all I and we'll have to say yes, about this. Everything goes in a cycle, right? Everything right, has so, its peaks and valleys. So the way that I see it is that APPN was trapped in that upward cycle. People who bought, you know, at that high level, you know, they're back holding or they sold it for a loss later on. And it's, uh, it's the same trend when you look at Sun Power. It's the exact same. And because, it, and because it's like that, you know it's not stock specific. It's more just the industry. It's Wall Street, you know, bidding up these smaller companies. Great, great analysis. Great analysis. Thank you so much. Um, interesting. It, it is kind of interesting that both of these companies kind of sprouted at around the same time, which wouldn't you say? Well, SunPower came out in 2006. Do they trade similar? Yes, but they're they're very much different companies. got to make sure I get this first line right so that I, all the following ones are right. <laughs>
that's why I'm I'm hyper focused. I I did hear you. Um, interesting. What w w what kind of product does this company make? Are you familiar with their product? Do you use it uh, regularly or? Um, I do not use their product. I don't know anybody who does. Um, just by reading the software, I mean, reading the profile on TradingView says that they make solutions to automate and measure businesses' processes. So I would assume that it's probably like a cloud company. And like I always say, I like to analyze a stock with technical analysis and then try to back it up with fundamentals. Um, I do agree their fundamentals is a little bit concerning, but there is a big difference. You know, their revenues are growing, um, are growing and their operating expenses are staying the same for at least the past three years. So there is hope for a stock like this. And if you saw my post on Discord, you'll see my chart that uses log. And you can see how the trend lines match up to the buying zones that I have identified. So you have a lot more confluence of price of where your support and resistance lines are. It just makes it a lot easier to, to identify with two lines instead of drawing, you know, 10, 20 lines, because they're not linear. They're not a, a linear chart. Especially with small cap companies, if they're growing exponentially, you just can't plot it logarithm. I mean, you can't plot it in a linear fashion. Very interesting. Note how your, your, your chart does look the, the lines are there. The lines from your chart have somehow magically appeared on my chart. It's just... It's a little more thorough. It gives the viewer a little bit more detail. It Maybe I'm over-analytical Andy. I'm sure I am. I'm, I'm definitely over-analytical Andy, but... Um, just, you know, everyone has their different styles. I definitely see what you're talking about, though. It, it, it kind of looks like it's forming a bit of a pennant, wouldn't you say, um, with these trends here? Yeah, um, I call a pennant a wedge, a wedge, a pennant. Uh, you know, it could be a huge, you know, bull flag. But I would draw a downward trend line from the highs to the lows, and I would think that we would be breaking that trend line.
Now, when I see companies like this, it actually reminds me of another company that may or may not have released around a similar time period. Now that I'm thinking about it, oh my god. Let's look at this. Compare. Very different industry. X, X. Looks like a chain almost. Looks like a chain. You could say these things are almost inverses. Hmm. What we did is that orange line represents a weed company uh, called ACB. We could actually cover it after this. This is something we've talked about in the Discord uh, just recently. Um, but it's a company we've played for a very long time. Uh, but what, I'm not going to get too much into that until ACB has its own segment. Let me finish up here. But note how these look almost inverse. Like Wall Street got up. Can you guys see me? Can you guys see me? Like Wall Street got up, took money out of one, and put it over here into the other one, right? It's like a cycle. Everything has its peaks and valleys. When ACB was doing super well, this ticker wasn't doing so well. And as one tapered off, the other saw this massive gain in popularity. And it did also sprout around the same time period, I'm pretty sure, unless it's not showing it. But again, we'll have an ACB segment later. As for this, this appears to be our uptrending price channel, if you want to if call it that. You really, eh. Let's add this line. Theory. Make sure you're staying hy hydrated. Your posture's good. We're sitting in front, in front of computers all day. Oh my gosh, I'm running over my microphone wire.
This is the final product for APPN. How, how do we like it, guys? The weekly RSI does look pretty oversold. We already covered a lot of the financials and fundamentals, so I don't want to have to rehash it with that. Again, VODs will always be available. Yeah, that's the entire thing. The whole thing kind of forms a wedge. Uh, any more recommendations? Is there anything you guys would like to see in chat? Anything in specific? Bull Options Trader, do you have any more wonderful recommendations? I'll uh, let the chat, if they have any suggestions. Okay, I'm, I'm actually going to segue into ACB then. Because that's one we were talking about in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord already, again, make sure to join our Discord. There's links below, or you could go to ethanren.com and find the link there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're always appreciated. Stick around. We plan on streaming much more.